When I saw that Speed Racer was being made into a live-action CGI-enhanced movie in 2008, I was super not excited. Because there's some cartoons and animation that should not be tampered with and made live-action. Like Garfield and Speed Racer. But for whatever reason, I was okay giving the video game a chance. It's Speed Racer! The game based on, well, the movie based on the original awesome 1960s cartoon. Oh snap. oh snap, indeed. What's surprising is that the game actually looks pretty cool. And what's even more surprising is that it's almost good. Almost, but not quite. Off to the scrappy! Speed Racer is on the Wii. It's played using the motion control and wheel, like Mario Kart. If you use the wheel, there is no classic controller support, unfortunately. You pull off what they call car foo tricks to attack your rivals on the track by holding down the D-pad and shaking the wheel rapidly, which then slows down time and completely interferes with the race. Oh yes, it's it's true. They were close to making a good game with this one, but but fell a bit short because that car foo thing gets in the way of what would otherwise be a decent racing game. It's like a cross between Mario Kart and a futuristic combat racer like Fatal Inertia or F Zero. They should have just picked one or the other though. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. I'm knocking on your door! You now who's me! You are good, but I am better! I step into your stream like a book! Remember me, I'll get revenge. <gasps> oh no! Oh yes! See? See, isn't that irritating? That irritating slowdown effect and awkward combat controls breaks the flow of what would otherwise be a decent futuristic combat racing game. The visuals and car designs are kind of neat, and the Dynasty Warriors style pictures and short dialogue is, is cheesy and campy, but so is, so is the series. That's almost acceptable. What's unacceptable is because of that slowdown and emphasis on car foo and battle tactics that don't work very well, winning races becomes a matter of luck rather than actually driving well. Like if you think winning Mario Kart Wii is a matter of luck, <laughs> try this. Fortunately, you compete in various championships which are a series of races, and if you can get into first place early and stay there, you have a fighting chance of getting some points. But if left to fight the pack, just just forget it because you'll get spun out, turn sideways, and crash into a wall. There's nothing else you can do about it. Fine. Hey, it's Racer X. For what it's worth, the character and vehicle selection is pretty cool in Speed Racer, even if it's not true to the original TV series. Also, Speed Racer on the Wii is incredibly affordable these days, brand new. There's no online, but you can play against a friend locally. For serious fans of driving games, you may find the luck-based winning and losing aspect to be irritating, but Speed Racer would probably be a good game for the young'uns. It's generally quite difficult to fly off the track and lose completely. That's one thing the game does. It, it keeps you confined on the course. Oh yeah, you also have rivals, and you can choose allies, which will attack your rivals. I think all of that is pretty stupid. I'm there to race. Everybody is my enemy. Except Trixie, because you know whenever there's trouble, she shows up in a helicopter. It always looks great, and she's cheerful. It's Speed Racer for the Wii.